Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to fix the annoying problem of the UAC or User Account Control popping up when you're trying to run the Thermal Right Control Center, or TRCC as it's otherwise known. This is a really annoying thing, and you'd think by now, with their various updates, they'd have resolved this issue, but still, no, it remains unfortunately. Now, it's pretty easy to get rid of, but there is actually a specific step you have to do at the very end to actually remove the problematic pop-up. This is something which I've discovered over a few hours of messing around with this today. Um, if I had hair, I would have already pulled it out, but that's another story. Anyway, I'm jabbering now. Let's head over to the computer and we'll take a closer look at what you need to do to remove the UAC pop-up. Okay, so we're on our Windows 11 desktop. The same principles apply for Windows 10 as well. And you'll see in the taskbar, TRCC isn't running because uh, the UAC came up and we ignored it. So I haven't run it at the moment. It's really annoying. So in order to actually make it run itself, what we want to do is to open up task scheduler. Just type in task and it should start coming up. So open up task scheduler. And what we want to do is open up the task scheduler library. You'll see there should be some things in there already from Google, Microsoft, etc. What we want to do is first of all, create a new folder. And we'll just call this folder TRCC for Thermal Right Control Center. You can call it whatever you want, it makes no difference at all. So click OK, so now we've got a new folder here. This is a very important part of the step. If you don't add this folder, it doesn't work right either. So in this folder now, we now need to create a new task. So in order to do that, go over to the far side in Actions and click on Create Task. And now we can put in some of our options. Now we have to give the task a name, so I'm going to call this TRCC uh, UAC Skip, just so we know what it is. And what we want to do is set it so that it run only when the user is logged on. So basically when you start up, and in this section here, configure for Windows 10 and we want to run it with the highest privileges. Now this isn't a problem, it's just a, a means of bypassing the UAC. So this section's okay. The next thing we have to choose our triggers. So at the moment the trigger section is empty. So let's create a new trigger. And what we want to do is we want to set it so that it runs every time. So either at logon or startup. Now I find that with at logon seems to work better. And also any user you can just leave that enabled, so just leave that as it is. Sometimes if you set it to startup, it still doesn't work properly. So if you do it at user logon, that seems to work very well, at least in my experience. So we can click OK there, and now we can go over to the Actions section. Now in Actions, there's nothing there, so we have to create a new action. So what we want to do is our action is going to be to start a program, and we have to tell the computer or the task scheduler which program we wish to start. So I click on Browse, and we're going to navigate to the, the program. So if I'll do that from the beginning, so local disk C, then it's going to be in program files x86, and then go down to trcc app en. So that's the English version. So if you're using a different language, yours may be slightly different. So go into that one. And then we want to go down to trcc, which is the application. So we'll choose that one and we'll click on open. So you should have it looking something like this, so C program files, x86, etc, etc. So that's fine, don't need to add any arguments there, it's okay as it is. So click OK, and then we can go into conditions. So you can choose what conditions you want. Um, it's got everything with some power. I remove that because it makes no difference to us. And if we go into settings, you can leave that on exactly as it is. So that should be absolutely fine. We've done our general section, we've done our triggers, and we've done the action. So if we click OK, we can see now our new TRCC UAE skip is ready and it's going to be triggered at logon. So you'd think that is pretty much all you have to do, but no, it isn't, unfortunately. So we'll close this window. The next part of the step, which is actually very important, which if you don't do, will still give you the trigger because there's two ways of starting the program because the program actually wants to run within Windows Startup. So if you just type in Start and look at Startup Apps, you'll see that TRCC is there. So what this will do is, after we've rebooted the computer, there'll be a startup section, so that will try to run this TRCC, but also task 
scheduler will also be trying to run TRCC, but with elevated privileges. So that means you will still get the annoying pop-up, even though the program is going to be running in the background regardless. So what you want to do is just to toggle that to off, and then you can close that section down. So that is pretty much it. So now just to demonstrate that it is actually working, hopefully the camera is filming the, uh, the screen on the other monitor. So I'll try and put this as a picture in picture. And what we do is just going to choose restart. And hopefully now when it restarts, we should see our screen as normal and just go straight into Windows and not have any UAC nonsense on the screen and for the program just to run and also run our default illumination. Now the display does take a little while to appear, so just be patient. And there it is. So hopefully you've seen that from the uh, the other angles that I filmed. So there's the computer, there's the screen running, and it's all good. And the UAC account pop up didn't appear. Awesome stuff. So there you go. There is how to set up TRCC to run correctly without the annoying pop-up on Windows 10 or Windows 11 just by using Task Scheduler. But don't forget, do disable that startup section as well because otherwise the two will kind of conflict and you'll still get the UAC forever and ever. So no matter what changes you make to the Task Scheduler, which you think are doing the right things, the other ones are going to be still dragging you back and giving you the pop-up every time after you restart, which is very annoying. And it did take me a long time to figure this out. So there you go. Hopefully this video is worth it. I should also say a big shout out to everybody who commented on the original video, uh, some of which I've taken on board. Some of the things I did actually try and actually failed. I think it's probably due to that startup bit at the end. But anyway, hopefully this video kind of combines all that information into one lump so you can digest it and use it on your computer as necessary. So this works for basically any of the uh, thermal right coolers with the digital displays on them. As always, if you get any problems or you've got any comments or concerns, please reach out to us in the comments section below. Alternatively, if you want a much quicker response, head over to our Discord. Links for that are in the video description. I think that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button if you want to see more content of this on a daily basis. Maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.